What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with Motor City Lions Talk. Meant to get around doing this video yesterday, but um, you know, I had a problem editing and stuff. But you know, talking about two of the most underachieving lions, and whoever thought the more you know, the two most underachieving lions, in my opinion, will be on the offensive side of the ball. Um, let's talk about Amir Abdullah. A lot of people are up in arms about Amir Abdullah um, not being what they thought they was going. He was they he was going to be. Didn't live up to their expectations yet. But I have to say that coming off an injury, he never really was able to, you know, get his feet wet. He got injured his rookie season, then last season in the beginning. So you got to bear with him. He's still in the learning stages of the running back position, but we ain't got time for that. I'm going to keep it real with you. I ain't, we ain't got time for that. We can win right now. And that was part of me dropping the video about going to get Jimmy Graham and going to get Jeremy Hill. And a lot of people didn't like Jeremy Hill because what they're seeing from him this year, but he's a volume back. And minimum, he can be a short yardage back. He picks that one yard up and it land on the, on the goal line. You give it to him, you let them hogs block, he getting in. That's the type of running back he is. And he got breakaway speed for a big back. But we ain't talking about that right now. Abdullah, he's tiptoeing, tiptoeing, then he's trying to hit the hole. You don't have that luxury in NFL. You know, you can be patient. Like Le'Veon Bell does and set up his block. But Abdullah is always trying to tiptoe and bounce it to the outside. And then, oh, when it's not to the outside, I'm going to cut it back inside. And the hole not there no more. You know, Theo Reddick is not a running back. I don't classify him as a running back. He's a slot receiver. Um, he's best to be a scat back and a third down back. Both uh, Reddick and Abdullah don't have breakaway speed. They're quicker than fast. They not gonna, at, at that small size, they don't break away. And they don't have the durability or the size to do a work done did in between the tackles. You know, um, so, I mean, we're going to have that problem. You know, uh, Abdullah's going to get better. He's going to have his games, but he's just not the running back for us. And that's what's holding the Lions back. And the Lions need to go get it now. They need to go get that running back now. Because you don't have, you don't have as many opportunities when you are, are good, as good as the Lions are on defense and through the air for the most part. And in, in, in the NFC is wide open. You just almost beat the Atlanta Falcons. Should have beat them. Beat them in my opinion. Almost just beat them. And that's the best thing the NFC has to offer. And you didn't have your starting linebacker in Jared Davis, which is kind of ironic that everybody's up in arms about the Danny Trevathan hit. But what about when Odell cheap shot at Jared Davis? But the Lions didn't make a fuss about it. They never do. Jim Caldwell doesn't use excuses. And I like that. But... Sometimes you got to bring awareness to the situation, and hopefully one day he does. But, you know, you have the Packers that, that have a shitty defense. Excuse my French. It's there. It's there for the taking. It's no, the Seahawks suck this year. The whole NFC East suck this year. You know, the NFC North ain't that hot. The Rams, for God's sakes, is the favorite in the NFC West right now. NFC South not that hot. Carolina sucks. Tampa sucks. So you got to go make your moves right now. And if you believe you want to give Amir Abdullah a few more weeks before you get to the trading deadline, I'm cool with that. And hopefully it clicks, but I'm pretty sure it won't. He's just not the running back for this offense and this offensive line. But if you want to wait till Taylor Decker get back and wait till next year and squander opportunity to be great this year and take control of a, a, division, a conference that you can win, your quarterback is playing well. Your defense is playing superb, even without that starting linebacker and starting safety in Tavon Wilson last week. And you're, you're leading sack getter and carry hider. These opportunities don't come too often. And Marvin Jones is just a complete failure this year. We had seven balls caught in the first three games, two for touchdown, dropping balls, not getting into rhythm. And he's seeing a, he is seeing the best team's best corner. But when you're getting paid like he's getting paid, and you're the number one receiver, and you don't move around like Golden Tate, you line up on that right side for the most side. Sometimes you line up on the left side. But those corners, them Patrick Peterson, DRC, Desmond Trufant, those guys are going to shade you or cover you. You got to win sometimes. Because if Marvin Jones don't win, then Ebron not winning, those two options that we can't go to. And when I say Ebron not winning, oh, he winning in the route, but he can't catch the ball. You know, and at least Ebron had a good game in New York. Neither one of these guys really had a good game. Abdul had an okay game in New York, but not as good as Ebron did in my opinion. Marvin Jones ain't had a good game yet. And we almost a quarter through the season Sunday. So it's time for him to step up, catch balls, get open. Because with him and Ebron not being options and, and not having a running game, that means 
The defense can hone in on Golden Tate. They can hone in on Kenny Galladay, who's not 100% healthy. And then they can play your backs out the backfield. So they're not worried about Marvin Jones because he ain't getting open. Or he ain't going to catch the ball. They worry about Ebron because he ain't catching the ball. So that's one side of the field where that's two different routes that you don't have to worry about. You live and die if they catch it or not. And Marvin Jones ain't playing like he supposed to play. He's hampering his offense. Will the running game help Marvin Jones get uh, open? Absolutely. Play action. You know, will it help? Absolutely, I believe it will. But at the end of the day, he getting paid to, to be a number one receiver and act like and play like a number one receiver. He ain't doing it. So I say, a couple more weeks and these guys ain't doing it, man. You know, Marvin Jones not going to – you got to go get your running back. Jeremy Hill, you got to go do that. Eron still playing like dog crap? You got to go get Jimmy Graham. Because I'm pretty sure the way Seahawks going, Jimmy Graham is going to be available pretty soon. He's getting making too much money. And Jimmy Graham and Stafford will be nasty. But these two guys got to step up, and so we won't have to go to that scenario. But we gone.